Okay, this is my plan for ton my tonight's photography. A uh, bit of fun. Last night, um, my local town, Nuneaton, had its um, light switch on and Atherston. Two local towns to meet. I live right in the middle of the two. Um, so, what I'm planning to do tonight is do a long exposure shot of inside the van, of the cockpit of the van, um, with the light trails from outside, and it makes um, a fantastic fun photo um, you learn a bit about the long exposure side of things as well which is good so I've set my let's see that. I've set my camera nice and sturdy locked to the van all wedged in it's all set ready to go later nice wide angle lens on um, a 16 35 nice and wide angle so I can get all the dashboard in and I'm going to take a still photo of one without me moving so the steering wheel isn't moving just in case I need to edit that part and then I'm going to go to drive around take loads of photos um, ISO 100 15 to 20 second exposure um, and have some real fun see what photos we can come up with it should look cool in the van I'll put it on all the VW sites they'll probably love it hopefully with a bit of luck and it's just really a bit of fun um, I've done it a few years ago, uh, seen someone else do it on YouTube, thought I'll, I'll have a go at that. Just, and it, the good thing is it learns you how to work with longer exposure. The main thing is I think is that it's fixed, so as the van rocks, that rocks with it. So, it's, so it keeps the, the dash nice and sharp, so you want the dashboard nice and sharp. Focus it on the dashboard and then star trails will just come. Do it in the um, the winter months when the lights have been switched on. You get all the different colour lights as well. But it will work in just normal street lights. But I'll, I'll go ride around the town. Hopefully get different colour lights, blues and, and greens and whatever. Um, also works well in roundabouts. So if you drive around the roundabout you get the, the light trail that um, swirls as well which works well. And you can even manipulate it and put them all together as well. Works well with good panoramics of if you've got a sunroof and things like that so that's what I'm doing. Well, I'll just show you what I've done to secure the camera. If you've got a car you can wedge the um, the tripod in so it doesn't move at all or it wants to move with the car. Um, but I'll, I'll put a cable tie around the seat there so it's, it's pretty secure, it's pretty solid. Um, that means when the car vibrates it'll vibrate with the car and the dash will be nice and sharp and still. Um, the other thing I did do, which I forgot to say, was I cleaned the windscreen. Um, so I'm gonna go out now and go drive down the town and um, see what we get. 